Hi guys, welcome to Harbor Kids Canvas and thanks for joining me today on the peacock painting. Um, I have with me Miss Brianna joining hello. us in the peacock class. Hello, hello. Um, so going over materials needed real quick, we need, I have an 11 by 14 canvas, <clears throat> but use whatever you have. Uh, my daughter is actually painting on a paper bag right now. Um, we'll also need the brushes, large, medium, and small flat, and one rounded. You're going to need your paint palette, napkins, and a paint jar full of water, or a cup full of water. Um, the paint colors, green, purple, blue, and white, and brown for the legs. And 10 extra points if you can name this beautiful hairdo that the peacock has. <laughs> on top of his head, atop his head. Um, all right, I think that is, oh, a few more. We need a paint uh, pen, we need a piece of chalk, and a hair dryer. And if you would like to, you can go ahead and, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I'm sorry, I was focused on, um, something off to the side of me. I was moving my phone and trying to, I've had phone issues today. So this is what you're going to see um, at the moment. So I'm gonna remove my example and put it off to the side for you. So what you're going to have to do is probably stop the video and catch up a little, for lack of better words. Um, because what is happening here is I've done this video so many times um, that I've practically ran out of canvases. So the time the video stopped this time um, was on the background, which was perfect. So we were just starting to draw the peacock. So back to um, step one, go ahead and put all your colors in your palette. Put your green, your white, your blue, your purple, and then a smidge of brown. So we'll get that out of the way. And then the first step is to paint your background purple. And once that is purple, you're going to blow dry it. Or any other color. <laughs> or any other color, if you don't have those colors and you're using your own. Um, so go ahead, excuse me, and blow dry it. And then this is uh, the phase that we're on next is drawing our peacock. So with the peacock, I have just taken and drawn some curvy lines, brought it up and swooped it in for the neck and I stopped at the top. So it kind of looks like a whale body. And then I added the head. So I added a curvature and a beak. And then I drew on some legs. And then here we are going to put on what I call the tail feathers because I just don't have another name for these. 10 extra points if you can guess the name of this part of the peacock. <laughs> And then I'm calling, um, what the next step is, is the peacock feathers. So from here, I'm going to be adding peacock feathers. And 10 extra, extra points if you paint it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely want a painted painting for sure. So I'm now I'm just gonna go in between the feathers And then a little halfer here. Um, I think that kind of looks good, kind of. <laughs> you gotta be confident. Okay. Sometimes you're just rolling with it when you don't know what you're doing. And that's me with every painting. <laughs> okay, so I think I've got plenty of feathers here because then we're going to add what I call the string feathers, which is all, all of these guys right here. So once we have all that chalked on, we are going to paint. So like I said, if you need to catch up, go ahead and pause the video. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with this for you um, here, which is great and that's why it's a pre-record. All right, so our next step is the blue. And I'm gonna put some of that in my palette. Are you already on the drying phase? Yes. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna paint the peacock blue. I'm gonna have her dry and I will see you once it's quiet again. Or talk to you, I should say. Not so much see you.
<laughs> it's like the quietest one. That's hilarious. So I left the head of the peacock, <laughs> quick draw McGraw, the head of the peacock um, unpainted for now. I really mostly want the beak unpainted so I can come back in <laughs> and do that. <laughs> And also make sure when you're drying, you don't hold the hair dryer too close up because then your paint starts to bubble. That is a true story. We've had that happen in a few paint classes. All right, we shouldn't have to do a second coat of blue. So let's move on to our green and our peacock feathers. Where did my truck go? Woohoo! <laughs> I think I'm gonna it's need another egg hunt. Green. Ooh, I have a couple pieces over here. Could I use one? Absolutely. There you are, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, one of three coats, I believe, that we have to do on the peacock feathers here. But let's just play it by ear, and we'll dry each each layer, and we'll go from there. I think I'm gonna stick with the original peacock now that I'm looking at the other one that I took a picture of. That looks a little hard because I don't know where to start at. Oh. There's so, so many lines. Yeah, it is a bit, um, it's it's drawing skills is what it is actually. Yeah. Jelly bean okay. time. <laughs> jelly bean time. Draw your own jelly bean. Whoa, that's awesome. Okay, so when I did the paper bag, um, and I just, normally when I'm painting, I, I don't use the magic eraser, I use my finger. I don't know why, but it's just like the closest magic eraser that I have. And um, when I wiped it off with my finger, it just like went to nothing. Crazy. And when you say magic eraser, you're talking about the paintbrush loaded with water, right? To... Yeah, not very loaded, loaded, but... Yeah, yeah. Until it's, like, dripping, but... Yeah, you don't want dripping. How did I, how did I draw that earlier? Okay. I think I've done a few more feathers this time than the other painting, but that's okay. I don't know why my painting smells like um when we go to the library to make the um uh the gingerbread houses. It smells like that. I don't Ooh. know why. Or it's either frosting. It smells like I can't. <laughs> it smells really good actually. Too funny. Yes, I can tell already that I'll probably need another coat for. The feathers. <laughs> funny. She's over there sniffing her painting. I can't help it. It smells so good. I wonder if there was like a gingerbread something in the bag or something. Or was there like um a frag a fragrant fragrance? Yeah, fragrance inside the um acrylic paint. Oh that would be cool. Or it's either the varnish I smell. <laughs> Okay, I'm moving on to the mint green. I mixed my 
my green and my white together to get this fabulous mint green. Very, very fabulous. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty bright. We have a barrier, and now we can see. Oh, sneak peeks. <laughs> Things to see around the side. Oh, you're already on the eye. No, I'm just drawing everything out first. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Now it looks like really happy. I think I just might do an eye, not the top. Okay. Um, I chose not to use a round brush on these rounded feathers because it leaves less brush strokes. And it actually makes a really good curved line, believe it or not. This time I'm gonna do my peacock purple. I'm switching the colors. Like how the peacock was blue, and then the background was purple. Ah. Uh, All right, mint green is done. From here, I think I will move to the, my round brush with the white, and I will put white into the beak. Be careful of the wet paint. At this time, I suggest that you maneuver your canvas around yes an open white Ooh. not to be confused with open mic <laughs> okay now let's Mix this. All right, I got the beak done. What else needs to be white? Oh, the circle, the horseshoe circle around the eye. <laughs> so, amongst many other things. Right when you were talking, I was about to say moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my hair dryer again and... that's dry I'm gonna come back in with my medium flat and do the leaves again the leaves I <laughs> knew it I knew I would go wrong <laughs> the peacock feathers that's funny we always have a new thing that we can never figure out until we google it every week yeah maybe we'll get smart and google that way we'll sound smart in the videos mm -hmm. But Just kidding. Or we should make Siri um, talk like us, <laughs> and then she can say it. Hey, Siri. She's disabled in order to do the video. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding about that, too. I don't know. That would be funny if she popped on while we were talking about her. That would be funny. How can I help you? Now it's truly the moment of silence, but, and, uh, 
but instead I was talking during the moment of silence. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the pinky promise. Oh, snap. Which is another line from the movie, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. So if you haven't seen it already, we're referring to Trolls. World Tour. World Tour. And uh, we love it. A lot. <laughs> and then we just look at um, our dog. Most of us. <laughs> 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 Cause he doesn't, cause he doesn't know what we're doing some of the time. No, but his name is Cooper, just like the Cooper in Trolls. <laughs> he looks exactly like him. <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't. I know. We need to buy him the hat, then he will. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need to dye him a few colors. It's funny, he's blonde. He could probably go a few colors. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you can actually put like permanent hair dye like from humans inside of dogs. Cause. I, d I just don't think it's humane, I think. Yeah, my friend um, dyed her dog's tail blue permanently. Oh. And her mom did not know. Crazy. Her mom didn't know? Her mom didn't know. Luckily it was her dog though. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're looking good. Maybe a little mint green for some highlights on some areas that need a little extra loving, AKA brush strokes <laughs> that you want to even out. Wow, I finally finished painting my peacock. You're all done? Yeah, put it, finished painting my peacock. Ah, uh, yes. In my background, not all of them. I beat another race again. <laughs> I know, right? I said, how can we make this faster? She goes, I don't know. I'm done, though. <laughs> okay. So not a full coat, but kind of. I wish we had, like, measurements of the paint, how much to pour to how much to pour to make it the exact color. That is a science. One eighth teaspoon, or. That would take up my painting time. <laughs> yeah. One eighth teaspoon of white to one eighth teaspoon of green. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bust out my brown, paint my brown legs real quick. Oh, his legs are brown? I thought they were black. Uh, yeah, you can do black, actually, if you don't wanna do the brown. I was just throwing a, a pop a different color in. I'm going to take my small flat brush, get a little wet, get a little dry. Is yellow a, no, yellow isn't a contrast to green, right? Mint green. Um, I think they're very close on the color wheel, so I would say no. Yeah. Now you want to go something like red or blue. I have blue as my background. But my contrast is not very well with my blue peacock and my purple background, but that's okay. Now you just gotta add a bunch of glitter like how I'm gonna do. Glitter! Mom, okay, glitter. so on top of the mint green, I wanna take um, some white. I'm gonna get rid of some of these colors that are stuck in my white. Um, and I'm gonna do it with the round brush. I'm gonna get a good size amount. And so what I want to do is, if you have wet paint, please dry it. I don't have wet paint on this. Even though I know I just painted the mint green, I promise you it's not wet on my end. And then you touch What's it. What's funny is you can, I think you'd be able to see on the video too, because if it's wet, it's awful shiny. Very awful shiny. And I'm going to make this a fairly big circle. Because I'm going to do one dot in the center of it as well. And then it keeps going on and on and on with colors. 
and then um, a year later, you finally finish your painting because the dots were so big, a little so tiny, because you use like every color in the world. <laughs> Definitely have some wet mint green though. I'm trying to avoid. And I just put on my black, so I have wet black. <laughs> I think I might do an eyelash on it. I don't know. Whoa, you getting fancy. Like my favorite, favorite painting of all of them. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I do have to admit, you were the inspiration for this one. It was your painting. And it, it was, was your painting last week, too. I think that was the inspiration. Oh, yeah, it was. That was the one you painted your brother. And this one is, um, I just found it in our paint or multiple paint canvas bin. Hmm. I know we've done a lot, so it's time to go digging now. And see what to do for classes. Now my hands are all black. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, More glitter. <laughs> that was another line from Chills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, one more. I'm not quite done. Now I'm mixing black in with the purple because I did hear Oh, you've gone crazy. Yeah, but I did a humongous eyelash. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it went to like one side of the painting to the other. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was big. So I knew I should have drawn that on for a strong drink. I don't know. Um, any extra white on your brush, you can take it to the beak if you need to do another layer like I do. And then I was going to take, what color? Light blue. Okay. So I'm gonna need to mix white and blue together. Quick, okay. close your ears. I'm gonna use the loudest um, hair dryer in the world. <laughs> oh, it's not very loud. <laughs> I made my light blue. And I'm just doing one dot right in the center. My painting is very black now. <laughs> I'm going to cover most of that up. <laughs> Yeah, just dry it up. I did. Now it's Is that what that faint noise was? What faint noise? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> the loudest hair dryer. Oh, yeah. Don't mind it. We might have to take you to the hospital later because your eardrum just broke. Ah. <laughs> it was like so loud that you can barely hear it. <laughs> you funny. Thank you.
Now it's a moment of silence beside the dryer. All right, so once you dot your blue in there, don't mess with it too much or you'll start to mix colors. Great, now my purple's turning into brown. What is happening? No, it's not. It's still, it's light purple. It, I actually accidentally added orange, orange and it's turning a little brown. Yeah, maybe slow down a little and not use too much paint. Remember, less is yes. more, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I can't really see what you're doing over there. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna blow dry this up. Oh wow, that's actually <laughs> so shiny now all right so I'm gonna do one more coat medium uh, flat brush with the green on the green feathers you like how I remember that one yes you said it so slow <laughs> And this is all that this is going to do is really make my feather bold. It's a strong, bold color. Very, very bold. I'm surprised that this actually maroony purple that I put on my peacock because of the black, um, it actually went really bright. Yeah? But it's probably going to dry really dark. <laughs> it's pretty. You covered it up. Quite well, just make sure to dry. If you end up messing it up again, dry it all out first and then you can paint over it. And that way you won't have to worry about runnage. Runnage, running, it sounds good. <laughs> running. It won't, it won't mix together. Oh. Is what I'm trying to say. How's your peacock going? Even though I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's good. We're we're getting there. Yeah. Same over here, getting there closer. Every step is a step closer, huh? Yeah. I feel like this one is like the quickest one when it's supposed to be an hour, it'd be like twenty seven minutes. I think this one is a little lengthy because of the amount of layering, at least that I have to do. Yeah. I think it would be a really quick painting. And I was actually trying to think, how can I make this painting um, go a little quicker? But when I thought about it, it was like, you know what? You just have to enjoy the fact that it's kind of lengthy and just get in there and love it all. Slash paint it. <laughs> Okay, I got my third coat on my feathers. I am going to now plot out, if I can find my chalk. Can I borrow your chalk? Oh, nope, never mind, I found it, it's in my palette. Um, the C shape around the eye, I want to just kind of have go ahead and plot that out with my chalk. And then take my round br brush and grab some white. And go ahead and make that happen. I'm so glad I um, lifted up my paint palette because there's a whole bunch of napkin under it. Oh, good. Was it like finding a gift? Yeah, but better. <laughs> a gift from the paper towel god? <laughs> ah, good sorry. thing that wasn't open. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably would not have seen it because there's so much purple in the painting. Right. Wow, this brown is thick. It 
Which brown? Oh yes. So be careful with that one. You may even need that one as a heavy body acrylic paint. So you may need to add a little water to it. Oof. But I'm probably gonna have my legs on my sick. Very, very sick. Okay, I added my eye as well. It's coming along, folks. It's coming along. Once right, I'm, I'm done with this painting, I'm just gonna like um crumble it into a ball. Ooh. And then um, I'm going to open it up and make it a caveman painting. I love it. <laughs> caveman with cutesy eyes. <laughs> All right. High and warm. be good for now um at this point i'm gonna put a little more white in my actually i think i have enough i'm gonna put a little more white into my green mixture i've got plenty there i'm gonna put white in my regular white container i'm just kind of refilling some of my colors because now we're going to mix white with the blue the green and the purple to make the lighter color <laughs> hey white and light rhyme <laughs> I don't know why I just noticed that. All right, I'm going to take my regular white right now and I'm just going to start and add circles to my peacock feather. And start off small and then just work your way out to bigger. Oof. I have a feeling I'm like using so many different colors in this peacock other than all like the other two I've done. Oh, right. Because we've done this video a few times. Yeah. I feel like this one's going to be like the best of the best. <laughs> The best of the best on a paper bag, even. I love it. I might even show one of my canvas ones, too. I think you should. Some of them are pretty good. Well, I'm deciding because I'm in an oil pastel with a, um, uh, with acrylic paints and with some colored pencils. That one is a good one. I like them both. One looks like um <laughs> a um I don't know what to call it, but it's like so many bright colors. There's like not one dark color, but the blue and purple. the moment of silence truly concentration definitely circles are hard to do oh wait you're working on circles I'm i am i'm still working on the tail thing i don't know why i call it a tail it looks like a tail tail feathers that's what tail i call feathers. it okay i might use that I'm using a pretty thick amount of paint so I don't have to come back and do a second coat for my spot on my feathers. And it's easier to uh, not bring up that green paint because I'm not going to mess with the white. I'm, 
I'm barely putting it on the canvas and I'm just kind of manipulating the paint around it. And then once the brush seems kind of done, I'll dip it again and then start back on the outside of that circle and just make it a little bit bigger. For the um, feathers, I'm doing it by the tail, the tail feathers. <laughs> nice. Um, it's like right on it. Oh, those are pretty. Thank you. I really like your painting. It's Aww, coming thanks. along. It is coming along. What's the wrong? I'll keep it on. It's coming on. It's coming. <laughs> and there's chosen. another chosen. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing so or saying so many troll things. Because it's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> another one bites the dust. And there's another Michael Jackson one. <laughs> um, Michael Jackson one? Yeah. Was that one in Trolls? No. Um, I was just singing that. Because oh. I had that song stuck in my head all day. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust. I think that one is Queen. Oh yeah, it is. It sounds like Michael Jackson. I love that my children know who Queen is. Okay, I think I got them all. So with the leftover white, since I've already got it in hand, I'm going to start what I call the painting. Um, <laughs> these outside feathers. What did I call them earlier? Sticks? No. Feather fingers. <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, all of this is going to go around. Each color that we do is going to go right around our feather. I don't know why, I just love the mint green so much. Oh my gosh, I think I found another, a new spring color that I like. Instead of purple this year, I think it's gonna be green. And then a few of those feather fingers over here. Let's move on to the next color. Oops. Rolling paint. You okay? Yeah. I'm going to take the dark blue this time, and just like we did the tail feather dot, I'm going to come right in and just put that blue dot right in the white. I'm doing a half and half paintbrush. Okay, this is going to look pretty weird, but. Yeah, it turned to pink in the middle. I'm not gonna lie, now I kinda like it. <laughs> I hope you like your painting. I really do. It looks like a red, white, and blue painting though. I don't know why. Looks cool. I like yours. Thanks. Time for glitter. <laughs> precious, precious glitter. I think glitter would look so pretty if you had like a spray can of glitter or even if you had like a to clear, keep in my room? clear glitter paint. I do. Um, I do you have can paint it right over these feathers of the peacock if you wanted to. I'm going to paint it all on the peacock. In my last painting, I think I did a little too much glitter. Did you? Yeah. Is there too much glitter? 
Well, I would say yes for that, but there's no there's no, no, no such thing as too much glitter inside a slime. Oh, and Two yes. of my favorite things. She's a slimer. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm slimer from um, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Let's see, does anything else need dark blue? Oh, we can do our fan, fan feathers. That's what I was calling it. I like Finger that feathers look, sounded good though too. I think my peacock is like one of the like peacocks, like Poppy. Um, she's all bright. Nice. Bright and cheery? Yeah. And like the leader. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. All of my paintings have to have glitter in them. <laughs> or it's no such thing as a painting. <laughs> She's gone off the deep end, Doc. <laughs> so fan feathers are just gonna go next to each one. I can see where I forgot a white there. But that's Finished. okay. Starting to come along. Finished one painting. Now I gotta add glitter to the others. Oh man. <laughs> You're gonna be a busy girl. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna mix my light green. Um, where did my glitter brush go? No, it's I don't know why my the glitter whenever I'm using glitter, the that brush has to be clean. Because I don't want any color with the glitter. I don't know. Yeah. That would be a smart move. Even though we have colored glitter and it looks cool, and I use it a lot, I'd prefer clear glitter. If your um, paint ever clumps up or becomes really thick, you can always add water to it and then it will tone itself down. Sometimes that's out of control. <laughs> that's me with glitter, out of control. Yep, true story. I want glittery walls for my bedroom. I know, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. At first, I didn't think that you were going to allow me to have glittery um, walls, but now that I'm like, yay, I get glittery walls. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I look in my room, it's going to be blinding me because of the sun and the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I loved my glitter walls growing up. So You had glitter walls when you were growing up? Yeah. No wonder I like glitter so much. But it was like a silver glitter. It wasn't like... Lots of glitter in your face. <laughs> I will throw glitter in your face. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's another one from Trolls. Tiny diamond in your face. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Okay. Just touching up some more white. I'm touching up every painting with glitter. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, now we gotta mix a little purple and white together. Every single peacock is gonna have glitter on it, but um, it's gonna have some other glitter in different places too. How's your peacock going? It's going good. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna fit some of this paint color. I got so much paint color. I got so much glitter. I like blending it. I feel like I've got a really cool blend going on here too. Last painting to put glitter on, the bunny in a pot. Oh, you're backing it up a few classes now. All right, what else are we missing? We've got that. Oh, we need to get his little hairdo at the top. 
So 10 points for the hairdo, right? Yeah. 10 points. Was that this video? We've done yeah. so many now. We were talking about doing points for anyone that could name the hairdo of the peacock <laughs> and, and the tail feathers, which I know are not tail feathers. 10 more points for whoever paints it. <laughs> <laughs> 100 points if you paint with us. All right, I'm actually gonna take some of that brown and I'm gonna make that little hairdo on him. I got a hairdo and it's a mohawk. Which is three like stripies of brown. Okay, how are we doing here? We're doing good. I'd say this video is about 40 minutes. I'm gonna check this out. Ooh, 45, super Ooh. close. Ooh. Nailed it. <laughs> um, I didn't add any fun pizzazz here, so I'm gonna add some, some pizzazzy here. Which way do I want it to go? I think I'm gonna have it go this way. And yeah, I you think want what I'm gonna pizzazz? do is just dip it in all the colors and See what pretty things happen. If you want more pizzazz, add glitter. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what I call pizzazz. <laughs> okay, so I got white, blue. How about regular green? Do I have a regular green yet? Done. With my Ooh, green. I don't have a regular green over here either. Yay, I'm done. With every single painting, I think. I don't know how you do it, my friend. I could have sworn you started late. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually start late. I was about two minutes late. Or three? No. I think I was about four. But, yeah. <laughs> Can't stop singing, huh? <laughs> what, you heard me? Yeah. Tiny diamonds in my hand. I don't know the words, so I sing what's in my head. <laughs> Ten more points if you can. I'm uh, terrible. No, the, the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> and twenty, and no, and a hundred points if you add glitter. <laughs> Can't do regular purple on the regular purple. I did the green, the mint green, the blue. I didn't do the light blue. That's what I'm missing. Ooh, I think I missed a lot of light blue. Let's get these colors mixed again. And throw some light blue up in this mix. It's beautiful. I don't know, every word I say, there it comes up with a song. Now I'm thinking of um, <laughs> <That> <laughs> Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Beautiful, 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 Aww. beautiful boy. That's a good one. We should watch that. We should. And 20 extra points if you watch that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends. Oh my goodness. It is about that time where the painting is coming to an end. And Don't forget to do the paint marker. Yeah, so we're almost completely to the end. But we're in the last stretch. So what I'd like to do is switch to my medium flat brush. Kind of scuff it up a little so it's not... Normally I pinch it and make it nice and crisp. This I want um, loose bristles because we're going to add some hair topping to our lovely peacock. Okay. There we go. I just dabbed the white on so you could see multiple um, bristle. Um, let's see, what am I trying to say? The, the bristle dots for oh. hair. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so with this, my colors are done. Let's give it a quick blow dry because now we're going to use our paint marker. Gonna outline every single one. 
All right, so the main things we want to outline, and if you notice on this one, I'll only have like an outline on one side of the feather. Feel free to outline to with what you want to do. The only reason I did one on one side is because I wanted the paint to kind of show through as well. Um, I didn't want to highlight the feathers as much because I feel like that's one of the main things in our painting. So if I saw the room to add the paint marker outline, then I put it. If not, then I leave it with a cool one side stroke or a half side stroke. This one's probably gonna be my best painting yet. Definitely. It's a maraca. Ha! Ha! It's a maraca. Ha! That's funny. And it's okay if your marker doesn't quite meet up at the lines with the feather or because that can look kind of cool if it's not. That's what's kind of happening to me. And then from here, so I got my feathers outlined. So from here, I'm going to do my tail feathers. Now, mind you, my white dots inside my peacock feathers are really wet still. Um... And so is that one. So you just want to be super careful when it comes to the peacock. We're going to go full outline. And then we're going to fully outline the tail feathers. I can smell the paint marker from here. Can you? Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to do something. Okay, so when it comes to the eye, you're gonna to wanna to be super duper careful because now we're going to outline <laughs> just the inside of that circle. My painting still smells good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think that completes our painting now that we've added that paint marker. Varnish? <laughs> oh good, yes, absolutely. Um, one of the tricks I have, so if you still have some chalk lines going on, maybe you've noticed that you can't use your magic marker, which is the wet paintbrush to erase it all because it keeps coming back on the painting. Um, your next step now would be 24 hours to completely let dry. And then I would spray some clear coat. Varnish. Some varnish. Can There's, you do Mod Podge? You can do Mod Podge, yes. You just want to not touch it because that's kind of like glue. Um, but what the purpose of that um, is, and I think I have a bottle right here that I can show you. So this is my varnish. And I'm going to stick it in my paint palette. It comes out runny and white. It is not sticky like glue. I'm just gonna do the corner here just to show you. My paintbrush is already wet. And what you do with this one is you let it sit for 24 hours as well. But it gives your painting a beautiful pop. Beware, it looks like milk. <laughs> it does look like milk. So what it'll do is it'll make your painting nice and shiny and give it a beautiful pop. Let's see, where's the difference? Did I paint this side? Maybe you can't tell in the video. Oh, and look at what it's doing. It's pulling up my paint. So this is um, one of the reasons, and I think it's this brand that I'm not a fan of, but this varnish pulls my paint. So my paint is now running, but that's okay. That's why I like the spray bottle. You can get it anywhere, any hardware store. 
Um, just shake it up, spray a coat super fast, let it dry super fast, and then you are done. Your painting is shining bright like a diamond, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. Yay. Do you have anything else to add, Brianna? Um, I hope you guys had a good Easter. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hope you had a good Easter. I hope you enjoyed this paint class, and until next time... Stay glittery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have fun and uh, stay artsy. Craft away, art away. I love it all. Send me your photos of your finished picture. I would love to see it. Oh my goodness, that would be that would just make my day is to see your artwork as well. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to say other than parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us.